Hello there students, welcome to Year 11 Chemistry and the Module 3 Reactive Chemistry series of videos. This one is number 23 and I just want to focus in on the standard reduction potentials table. Like the periodic table, this is a, a piece of data or a tool that you will receive when you are um, sitting your examinations. So the first and most important point is don't try and memorise it. Um, the better you can use these tools, the more information you can get from them, um, the uh, more successful you will be in chemistry. Now, the most important thing about the standard reduction potential table is, I guess, two things. Firstly, each of these is written as a gain of electrons. So the whole table is all about um, uh, gain in electrons, which we said is rig, reduction. Reduction is gain. And then for all of these are examples of half equations involving reduction of a particular species. Now we do know um, that when we look at the um, redox couple that we set up, or if we're looking for any type of reaction involving the species that are present in this table, then we need to make sure that there is one reduction and one oxidation. In order for this to happen, one of the pairs must be reversed. And when we reverse the reaction, we change the sign. So if, for example, I was to uh, determine whether or not uh, a strip of magnesium placed in a solution of iron would react, then what I need to do is look at the combinations that I have in the table. So in the situation that I've just mentioned, here is iron. So I can look at iron and re replicate that formula here. 2 plus plus 2E minus is going to go to Fe solid. And the um, E naught value is minus 0.44. E naught is minus 0.44 volts. Now, the other one I mentioned was magnesium, and it's here. Run that right across, so we've got the E naught value as well. So it's here, Mg2 plus, plus 2E minus is Mg solid. And the E naught is equal to minus 2.36 volts. Now, if we go back to this... Um, piece of information here, then we must have one reduction and one oxidation, and both of these are currently written as reductions. So I've got to change one. The clue was in the uh, way the question was worded, that is a strip of magnesium is placed in a solution of iron, and so therefore this is what I actually want. So I'm going to reverse the second of these equations, Mg solid, going to Mg2 plus plus 2e minus, and what I have to do with the e naught value is I have to change the sign, so it now becomes plus 2.36 volts. So I'm now in a position where I don't want this one anymore. I just want the first one and now the third one. When I put these together, the electrons are going to cancel out, and that's part of what I want to make sure happens. When I put magnesium solid into a solution of ions, iron ions, <laughs> then I find that I get magnesium ions being produced and iron solid as a precipitate, and the E naught value is the two of these added together. So in this case, it's going to be 2.36 minus. 0.44, which is going to be 1.92 volts. The fact that it is positive tells me that this will be a spontaneous reaction. And therefore, if I place magnesium solid into a solution containing iron ions, then I will see a reaction occur. The table of standard reduction potentials is a very important one to allow us to not only establish galvanic cells, um, but also to determine uh, which sorts of uh, 
combinations will produce displacement reactions. So as I've written it, I could have a displacement reaction where the magnesium solid is displacing iron from the solution. I could also separate these into two half cells and create a voltage of 1.92 volts, ideally, uh, between these two half cells uh, in the manner of a galvanic cell. Keep the table in front of you when you're working through these questions because you need lots of practice to feel comfortable with this table, knowing that from this table there's a whole lot of information that you don't have to memorise uh, that you can take directly from this table. So keep practising, good luck and thanks for watching.